What's going on everybody, Wayne's Workshop here and this week's tutorial will be uh, back on the computer and this one is one of the most requested now in my inbox and is can I uh, extract Overwatch models like I do in the League of Legends uh, video. Yes I can, but Blizzard keeps changing their uh, encryption keys, I think what it's called. Um, it's an updating process and the guys that made the software to extract the model, they managed to keep their software up to date. But uh, let's say you're watching this video uh, in, in the near future, like three or four months from now, and there's like two big updates later. This method probably will not work. However, the same software can be used as long as you update it. And those links I will uh, put down below it's all through a forum the face punch forums and then the overwatch thread so let's say you followed it step by step through this video uh, but it still doesn't work you probably have to update some files so go to those forums first check out if something needs to be updated and then try again without further ado let's start it first you need to go to this URL link will be in the description you need to download data tool you need to download this IO scene blender importer so we can load our models into blender you need the cask library file and then on right now page 35 and I'll give you the direct link also there is the there is the quick data tool and this is the uh, easy interface we'll be uh, using I'll place this direct link into the uh, description so you don't have to scroll through pages on forums. So you need those files first. So once you have downloaded those files, you need to uh, unzip this toolchain release. That's the data tool. So we'll do that. We'll make a folder and then quick data tool and this library file will be moved into this folder. Hit OK. And let's go in. Now, we start up this quick data tool. So double click that, say run. Now, here is the interface. Here is where you put your Overwatch path. And for me, that's in my H directory. Overwatch, there we go. Hit OK. Overwatch is valid don't have to do much here uh, the output path on where you want your extracted models or voice sounds or whatever to be hit those three dots quick data tool overwatch you hit OK and that's where the uh, exported models are going to be now um, let's just pick an example and let's pick Fara. all right what we want to do we want to extract something so we hit extract we get the drop down menu and you have general unlocks and hero unlocks and voice lines and maps and everything but seeing as that we want to uh, extract models so we can cosplay them we pick hero unlocks and here we can edit the extraction queries so we hit this and here is where we uh, will type the name of the character and they have to be exact exactly like they're in game for now, I'm going to do it easy, so let's put in Fara. Here you can uh, specify the choices like only skins, icons, sprays, emotes, voice lines. Here is the common, uh, the rarity of it, common, rare, legendary. It can even go through events like past events, current events, but let's keep it just on Fara for now. Hit done. And now here inside here it will remember that we want Fara. hit start and then it will mine overwatch and what you can see now it's tooling it's initializing processing data for Farah. and now because we didn't specify anything it will do every skin that Fara has so it will find it it will save it and we'll move on to the next one let's say we want one specific uh, skin so we'll kill this data process yes and we'll go back to the extraction queries we still want fara and now we go to type we want a certain skin so we hit skin 
we'll put that line. And then I want from the event, let's go right now, it's the Lunar New Year. So let's pick that one, hit Lunar New Year and hit done. We've made those choices now and then we hit start again. We'll find it, extracting skin, finding, saving, and done. Now we've only extracted that skin. Now let's say you want some voice lines. You know, you want to make an act or something and you'd like to have like fire uh, voices in the background. We can do that also. But we gotta make some changes. All we have to do is change here. Instead of hero unlocks, we go to hero voice. We edit it again and just for ease, I just want Farah and hit done. No other specifications are given now and I'll hit start and it will find the voice lines and probably some sound effects and it's searching them. Now it's tooling. It will stay on tooling until it's done. But if we go to this uh, extraction folder, in my case, it's quick data tools. You can see there's a folder here, Heroes, with the Farah skins we just extracted, but there's also Hero Voice in where the program is working now. And it will have all of these folders, like all of this. This is how Overwatch uh, categorizes its folder. So it is what it is. You just have to search for the ones you need, but it comes in a uh, ready to play format. So let's just click on this yeah. one. Yeah. Okay, that's probably a death sound. That too. Let's go to a different folder. Contact straight ahead. Well, there you go. And you can do this for any champion, of course. So these are the voice lines. But it's now back to the model. Now that we have extracted the uh, model, it placed it in a neat category it's like heroes fire skins let's pick the lunar new year one it's legendary and we need the model and here we have the same uh, folders with all the numbers and all of that stuff now usually the whole character model is the biggest file it's this one now we can see it's it's a file with a number and it's called OWMDL we can't do anything with this Download the latest version of Blender on their site, link in description. Now, we also downloaded this file, the IOC OWM Blender importer file. So, you need, this is a plugin for Blender, so that it can read Overwatch models. So, once you have downloaded the latest version of Blender, you installed it, you open it, you go to File, user preferences, add-ons, install add-on from file, and then you go where you downloaded that file. And I know it's this one, iocene owm.zip. You can select the whole zip. You don't have to extract or unzip this zip first. Just select it, install add-on from file, and it will see, well, I already had it installed, so it says multiple add-ons with the same name found. If you can't find it, just type OWM-import and you will see it. Check the checkbox, save user settings, and you can close this. Right click this starter cube, hit delete, hit enter, because we don't need that. Hit file, and now it's time to import that Farah model. So you go to import, OWMDL, you go where you extracted it, and for me, that's the quick data tool overwatch. You go to Heroes, Fire, Skins, Lunar New Year. Let's go, let's go, Model. There we go. You double click it, you wait a bit, and there we go. Here we have the latest Farah skin with the skeleton, which is needed for animation, but just right click it. Right clicking is selecting in Blender. Uh, you right click the skeleton, hit delete, hit enter, there we go. Now, let's say we want to 
load this into something like Pepakura. I have a whole playlist of how to Pepakura, so here above is the link. So if you don't know how to use Pepakura or unfold with it, go check these out. But for now, I'll explain you how to get this into Pepakura. You can do this whole model, export it to a uh, OBJ file and load that in, but that's kind of a hassle because we tend to work in parts we build, like shoes and shins and everything. Uh, some models come pretty separated, like this helmet right now. It's, it's, it's pretty loose. Oh, I got a head. <laughs> the helmet. There we go. See, we got the helmet right here. And we could have just dragged that off, but some models are just like a full design. So this is kind of big to export export in one file and then load that into Pepakura. So to give you an example, this helmet, we have now right clicked it, so selected it. We go to file, we want to export it now, and we want to export it to a Wavefront OBJ file. And then we only want that helmet, so we have to click, click this checkbox, selection only. And I'll move that to, let's do the same folder. And we'll do dragon head. Export OBJ, and it will have loaded. And now let's go to that same folder, dragon head dot OBJ. I open it in Pepakura, and there we go. We have the dragon head in Pepakura, and you hit unfold, and you go can go from there or watch my whole playlist on how to Pepakura. But this file was already separated, so this was easy. Now I'm going to show you something basic in Blender and how you can separate like any piece, and we're going to focus on this shin piece. You right click this whole body, you go down here, and you go to edit mode. Now you can see everything that's selected here, but I only want the shin piece. So you right click somewhere in this shin piece. You can see it's highlighted there and you hit L. If you want more, you hover over where you want to have it, not clicking, just hovering and you hit L again. See, it took it. Hover over here, L, 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 L. And you do this for how much of the model you want. For now, this is fine. It's gonna look a little bit messy, but you know what I mean. There are other ways to do it, but I just prefer it like this. Um, now we've selected that which we wanna separate. To separate it, you hit P and then hit selection. Now you can see it has separated from the rest and has a dark orange outline. You go back to object mode, right click this one. Now you can see this orange outline that we've only selected this one, just like the dragon head. And for this one, it's the same one. Right click this, file, export, OBJ. Let's call it uh, dragon shin, export, and dragon shin. And there we go. We have separated the shin and it is now exported into Pepakura, ready for unfolding and then building. So this is basically it. You saw how easy it was. This tutorial is not that long. And this is the way you can extract Overwatch models for your cosplay usage. Now, these files are for personal use only. They are not for reselling. It is still the intellectual property of Blizzard. So this is for cosplay purposes only. Use this like this in Pepakura so you can build your favorite cosplay. Overwatch released a new character. You're completely hyped up. You extract it. You unfold it into Pepakura. There you have your templates for paper or foam or thermoplastics, whatever you want, and start building from there. If it doesn't work, go to that forum first and look at those last few pages for updates and information because the uh, because Overwatch
keeps updating their methods and so does this piece of software. It's a lot easier now. In the past you had to use a command prompt and type the whole query to get it. Now with Quick Data Tool it's much easier. So I hope you learned a thing or two again and I'll see you in the next video.